best season for a quarterback we've seen in quite some time. Hyperbole, look at the numbers. Could be the MVP. Mm -hmm. If he wins his Super Bowl, add that to his legacy. Could be talking about Hall of Fame. If he loses, well, it's another really good season, and he loses the Super Bowl. And then you have Tom Brady. I already think he's the best quarterback of all time. In terms of legacy, who does this game mean more for Matt Ryan, Tom Brady? I think you have to go with Matt Ryan because you just said it. You already think Tom Brady is the best quarterback of all time. His legacy is already set. Can Tom Brady set himself alone from all the other great quarterbacks and great players? Absolutely. But Matt Ryan almost has more to lose. You, you just said it. If he doesn't win this Sunday, congratulations, you had a great season. You're another quarterback that doesn't have a Super Bowl, so I have to go with Matt Ryan. What is it like, and you've done it, facing a Bill Belichick defense? It's not a lot of fun. Um, you know, they, like we talked earlier this morning on radio, and, you know, you, you have to almost play perfect against them because you know they're not going to make any mistakes. And, you know, they just kind of keep the game close. They, they make sure Tom's in striking distance, and they capitalize on your mistakes. It's amazing. They have this unbelievable knack. You foul up once, you're doomed against New England. Yeah, it seems like they always capitalize on it. You know, we, for instance, we played them in, in 2014, I believe, and, and we're right there in the game. I think we're actually up seven to nothing. And then, you know, they go down and score. We turn it over. They block a field goal. Next thing we go into the locker room, which should have been about a 10-7 game, and I think we were down 24-7. Wow. And, when you're down that many points in Tom Brady, it's hard to come back. Well said. Now, it's easy to say, take away Julio Jones, right? Mm -hmm. Belichick tries to take away what you do best. But how about this Atlanta running attack? And i got to believe they can be able to run the football on Super Bowl Sunday. Absolutely, and I think they have to. Uh, you know, we talk about how great Bill Belichick is at taking away what you do best. And uh, not only are they going to try to do that, they're going to try to make Atlanta one-dimensional. And, you know, they're going to make sure that they're trying to stop the run. So on the other end, if Atlanta can go out there and run the football and find creative ways to get these two running backs involved, I think that gives them the best shot to win. How does this Atlanta defense match up with Tom Brady? Well, the biggest thing for this Atlanta defense is putting pressure on him. And not only from the outside, you know, they got two great pass rushers. You know, obviously the defensive ends getting up the field, but Tom does such a great job in moving in the pocket. And you go back to the Super Bowls, uh, 2007, 2011, when you know, Tom played against the Giants. And you know where was all that pressure coming yeah. from? You know, it was Justin Tuck, guys like that getting up the field in the middle of the pocket, kind of disrupting Tom, getting him off his spot. So I think it's going to be important for that whole Atlanta front to get pressure. It's amazing when you think about it. There are a few examples, and obviously not many, we're talking about the best of all time, mm -hmm. where Brady has been pressured in the postseason. You mentioned the Giants games. The Jet, Bart Scott, can't wait game. Mm -hmm. The Denver, Von Miller, Wade yeah. Phillips game. Now, I love Vic Beasley. I've known Dwight Freedy for a long time, love him. Do you see this defense, which got to Russell Wilson, got to Aaron Rodgers, actually doing that, having the personnel to put pressure on Tom Brady? Absolutely. You know, you just mentioned those guys, and uh, they got some great interior rushers as well, and I think that's the biggest thing. You know, you know Dwight and Vic are going to get pressure on the outside, but if Tom can just step up in the pocket and throw the ball downfield and he doesn't have anybody around his feet, uh, you're not really getting him off his spot because he, he does that so well. And I think if these guys, their entire front four, uh, you know, you don't want to bring a whole lot of blitzes because Tom's <laughs> seen about every blitz possible over the years. So uh, if you can bring pressure with just those four guys and make him a little uncomfortable, uh, that's your best chance. Yeah, you don't want to blitz against Tom Brady. He will destroy you. Look at that smile yeah. from Kyle Rudolph. Give me a prediction. Who's winning the Super Bowl? I'm going to go with New England just simply because of Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. crowd loves yeah, it, Kyle. Yeah, love it. Absolutely. Playing to the crowd. Yeah. I can't get enough. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's hard to go against those two and what they've done uh, throughout the course of the last two decades. Let's talk a little Vikings for a second. Mm -hmm. Adrian Peterson coming back? I certainly hope so. Uh, I talked about it a little this morning, and you know you see throughout football, and the business of the game gets involved, and you see Hall of Famers, uh, Joe Montana playing for the Chiefs, and Emmett Smith playing for the Cardinals. I hope that's not a situation we have with Adrian. I hope Adrian finishes his career as a Minnesota Viking where he belongs, but that's way above my pay grade, so uh, I'm going to stay out of that one. 